Hello guys and welcome to Leo Photo TV. My name is Frank and I'm a creator, director, producer and photographer located in Mexico. Leo Photo TV is the place where you're going to find everything related to all of the products from Leo Photo. Today we're going to start this videos or this series of videos talking about a new tripod that Leo Photo just released. That new tripod is the LN-284CH. This is a new line of tripod that Leo Photo have been developing for a while now and now that it's available on the market. Today we are in Merida, Yucatan, one of the most beautiful cities here in Mexico. And today we're going to be taking a look at this tripod and all of the parts that conform this tripod. We're going to be taking a look at all of the parts from the legs, the twist lock mechanism and the build quality. And we're going to show you how important it is a good solid base for you to do photography and specifically HDR photography. We're going to be doing a couple of HDR pictures here of the Merida Cathedral and you're going to see why a solid tripod is such important thing for you to take really good quality HDR. Let's start by taking a look at the package and everything that is inside this bag from Leo Photo. Okay guys, now what we have here is the back where the tripod comes. This is the new style back from Leo Photo, and it's a very good quality bag. Uh, I will use it every day because it takes care of my equipment. So let me open this very quick here. Uh, we got the zipper on top of here. Very good quality zipper. And we open it like this. Inside what we have is the strap for the bag, so you can carry it on your shoulder, okay? We got the tripod. Also, we got a couple of booklets to show you how to use the tripod on all of the parts. And also we have an informative brochure. It says that this tripod holds up to 20 kilograms, which is amazing. It goes high up to six feet high, which is really good. It's about 186, 185 meters. And the folded legs, with the folded legs, is just 550 millimeter and it's really nice it's very sturdy it's lightweight it's less than two kilograms which is awesome inside here we got a little uh, pocket here we got some tools six year warranty and we got a couple of other tools okay now here we have the the tripod itself it comes in this protective plastic bag and this is the LN284CH. It's a really nice uh, carbon fiber tripod. As we said before, it holds up to 20 kilograms, but these legs are about 10 layers of carbon fiber to be built. I mean, that's amazing. That's really, really strong. One of the things that I immediately call my attention is the center column lock king mechanism. And the other tripod from Leo Photo, like the CT version, the, is just a twist lock. This one is a complete knob, and I really like it because it seems to be a bit more sturdy. And this kind of head, I really like it. It got a very wide platform for you to put your camera, and the legs are beautiful. This is a four-section tripod, quick lock mechanism, so you can release the four sections, one, two, and three, and four and that is really nice. 
the center column goes high about 18 inches, which give you an extra reach, which is really nice. If you lose it here, it goes down and you got this rubber part that will protect if in any case you release this mechanism and you got your camera in there, it's not you're gonna slam it. That's really nice. And the bottom here, at the base, we got a bubble head for you to be able to level your tripod. And this is a beautiful piece of tripod. It's really, really nice. At the bottom here, we got this hook, which allows you for you to hang your backpack or anything that you carry. And when you have the center column extended, when you put some weight in here, it makes your tripod a lot more stable, which is really, really nice. It's, it's, it's Leo Photo Bill. This is the new style of their handle. It's, it's a rubber material with the Leo Photo logo in here. And it's really nice. Now, I haven't seen how to do it, but as I understand, this part is reversible as well. So I'm gonna put it on the floor now. I'm gonna show you how you do this. Okay, now what we have is the tripod here. And what I wanna show you is how you can take their center column and invert it. So put the top part on the bottom and also how you can get the tripod working without the center column. That's a very easy process. Basically what I do here is that I'm gonna, first for me to take it out, I'm gonna release this part, just twist it. I'm gonna turn it and this part comes out, okay? Now, in the bottom, we have this other part where you got the hook. I'm gonna also lose it. And now you can get this part out. This part of the tripod comes out. Now the only thing that I need to do is to release my locking mechanism here and I'm going to pull it out. Now we have the tripod without the center column. What I'm gonna do is that the part that was at the bottom, I'm gonna put it through the main center column space here. It has a groove on it and it has a, a guiding inside. And I'm just gonna push it up. I'm gonna tie it down. The, the part that was at the bottom is gonna go to the top. Okay. I'm gonna rise this a little bit more for you so you can see very well on the bottom what I'm doing. And with this part, I'm just gonna screw it here at the bottom. After I got it, and that's it. Now you have the center column inverted. So basically you can go really, really uh, low to the ground with this part. We can also replace the center column or take it away from the tripod completely. It's the same process. Okay, I'm just gonna take this part here. Please don't lose this part, it's very important. And I'm just gonna release the center column locking mechanism. And now the base for the trap for the head, I'm gonna unscrew it from the center column. Now we have two parts. This part, which is the bottom one, I'm gonna put it through here. And this part, which is the top one, I'm gonna put it on its place. And I'm just gonna screw in here. Okay, let me give more space here. That's enough. And now I'm gonna tie it down and I'm gonna try to screw this very good. And that's it. Now I have my tripod without the center column. That's gonna help me because if I want a really, really low uh, profile or I want a shot that is really down to the ground and I don't want it to have it on the inverted mode, this is gonna help me for me to spread the legs of the tripod completely to the maximum position like this, and now I'm not gonna be hitting the tripod. I'm gonna show you how that looks right now. Now, as you see here, I have the tripod about three inches, the top plate about three inches for the ground, and that is really good. And the flexibility that I have here now to do very low angle shot is amazing. But just doing a couple of action and screwing two knobs, that's all it takes for you to have this tripod working at a very low uh, angle.
Okay, because this kit doesn't come with a head right now, I'm gonna be using one of Leo Photo's uh, favorite heads. This is the CV-46. This head holds 20 kilograms. It's really sturdy, so I'm gonna put it here before I start putting my kit together with my camera. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take my plate and put it on my tripod because I'm gonna be using the 7200 also with a uh, filter kit on the front. So I want to have as much grip as I can from the lens. So let me put the lens in here now. Okay, guys, now I have rigged up my uh, 5D Mark III with the Tamron 7200 2.8. I also have the Nisi uh, filter system here, three stages filter system with one uh, 10 stop uh, and the grad because I want to do a little bit of a long exposure because there's a lot of people on the street track. Now, what I want to show you here is that this tripod is handling this very well. There is no movement. I can try to move it and I have to push, really push it in order for me to get any source of movement. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna go here to the uh, cathedral in Merida and do a couple of HDR and also a couple of long exposure photography so you can see how this tripod performs. Let's go over there. Okay guys, now that we have the equipment here, this is the Merida Cathedral. I'm gonna take a couple of uh, long exposure photography and see how they look. Maybe the 70 to 200 will be too long for it, but I want to get a couple of details, but maybe I'm gonna switch also to the 24 to 70 and let's see what we get from this. The tripod is really steady, so I'm happy with that. Basilica inside and we're gonna be doing some HDR photo here.